Hello my people, thank you for joining us. Welcome back to your channel, Bosman Channel, when you learn, where you live and where you love. Um, it's great being with you. Uh, this is your host once again, Bosman. And today we'll be sharing on, you know, starting a new thing or, you know, beginning a new thing. And I will be coming from the part of um, how hard and tough the starting point may be. I don't want to kid you. I know we're always looking for that easy parts, um, but the truth is that a lot of our roads that will lead to the desired destination, we come with some brokenness. We come with some rough patches. But it doesn't mean that they won't lead us to our destination. Even if they come too easy or they come too smooth, we should be careful. But I know a lot of people are always looking for that smooth or for that easy path. I always say something. If it's too easy, many people will be there. And a lot of times, I don't want to stay in that path where it's too easy. That's the truth. I used to say this when I was in school. If I leave an exam hall and everyone says the exam is cheap, then I'm not sure, I wouldn't be too sure if I would shine. But if we come out and people say, oh, this is hard, I know that is competitive. Now, in a survey done recently, it shows that over 20% of businesses will fail in their first two years of starting rough patches, brokenness. Over 45% will fail in their first five years. And it says about over 65% will fail in their first 10 years. Actually, it says about 25% will stay beyond 15 years. That means within 15 years of starting a business, rough patches, over 75% will fail. But how many we hold on beyond these 15 years? In fact, if you are watching this and you are over 15 years in age, you've lived more than over 75% of businesses. It's the same start with marriages. Start shows that over 50% of marriages will fail within the first 10 years. Rough patches, brokenness. How many people are able to hold on? It's like building a house. Foundation will demand the most from you. But what you want to do is to ensure that you don't do it easily or you don't, you don't just get it done fast. What you want to do is to build a solid foundation so that the house can sit well on it. You can even make any adjustments if you have a very strong foundation. You know, moving to a new country, I know a lot of sacrifices I had to make at the beginning. It was rough. It was hard. You know, there was a time I was just building capacity, doing courses, doing certifications. And, and my, many people felt I was, I was, you know, wasting money. It was tough. But I always share with people, the first year of getting a job, in my line, you know, almost cover all the expenses, far more than what I had spent. And I know that the foundation was strong, but the beginning was rough. I've changed job quite a bit. I've changed career a bit. And I know every time I've made changes, it's always very hard, extremely hard at the beginning. So what am I saying today? If you are starting and it feels hard, maybe what is being requested from you will even make the starting point hard. Don't run too easily. Sometimes you give people requirement of what you need. They need to build capacity in a new field, in a new land. They will say, no, how can I do that? 
How can I pay that? How can I sacrifice that? A friend once told me that free has a price and the price could be costly. Easy has a price and that could be costly as well. So because it's easy, because it's free, doesn't mean it's the right path. Again, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're about starting. I don't know what you've started. The beginning may be rough. The beginning may be hard. But if you build that foundation, the end result will be great. So, don't shy away from that new beginning because greater things are coming. Thank you for watching us once again. As you keep pushing, please know that great things will come.